Hey everyone, Eric here, and today we are talking about bringing vector files into Moho. Now, a quick note, with Moho 12, they finally, finally put in those Bezier handles that all the other vector programs use. You know, those handles that stick off the points and you move them and you can go sharp or more curved, and they're fantastic. Moho's done them really well. So your best bet with creating your vector objects to use in Moho is to make them in Moho. Try it, trust me. But you like another vector program. Your designer gave you an Illustrator file or something else where it's going to be too much work to just recreate it in Moho. Well, how do you bring that in and have it look good? Well, let's talk about it. Okay, I'm starting out in Illustrator and here's Batgirl because I like Batgirl. I like this new design. I'm not so sure about the show, but I like the new design. So, let's take a look what I've done. Down the left, I have put in blocks of color and identified them by their hexadecimal value. That will allow us later to confirm or prove that the colors came in right or wrong. That's just uh, something I've added so I can show you. You don't need to do that. And then I've got two versions of Batgirl here and it's kind of hard to see the difference. Uh, but let me zoom in on her hair and look at that dark hairline. You'll notice that it's just a standard illustrator stroke with square edges. There's no thicks, there's no thins. So let's come over to this one. I have applied a brush to that block of hair that has thicks and thins so that it tapers to a point at the end and gets thicker in the middle. I've done the same with the eyes. You might be able to see there that the lower part of the eye is thicker than the top, whereas on the one on the left here, it's one constant line, all the same thickness. And uh, we'll see why that's important in a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do is export this in multiple formats. So let's start. First of all, I'm going to just make sure I save a copy to my uh, test folder here as batgirl.ai. And that is standard. I'm going to save it with just the format it wants to use out of the box, which is an Illustrator CC. There, that's one. Now, I'm doing that, but Moho does not import that. So let me save as, and really the only format of Illustrator, the earliest format, the newest format of Illustrator that Moho will bring in is version 8. So many changes to 9, so many extra things. Uh, a lot of programs that do this just want to go back to 8. They've never really updated it, but as you'll see, it doesn't really matter. There are better ways. So I'm going to click Save again. Oops, I'm going to rename it first so we can tell the difference. I'm going to call it Batgirl V8. I'm going to save. I'm going to change my format down to Illustrator 8 and click OK. And it's going to give me warnings that it might lose some of my new nifty stuff, but I have to live with that. Click OK. All right, that's one. I will save as. Let's go to the dreaded EPS format. As a designer in the 90s, I hated EPS and I've never gotten over it. Save as. And I'm going to change that to Illustrator EPS. Uh, and I'm going to leave that at V8 at the end because I'm going to click Save because there are multiple versions of EPS. So I'm going to change it to Illustrator 8 EPS and click OK. Ignore the warnings. File, save as, let's just name that plain old batgirl.eps, click save, and change it to ccps, click OK, there we go, and finally SVG, and this is probably your best format, spoiler alert, so let's do it, and uh, I'm going to do a couple of versions of this as well, file, let's do save as again, change that to SVG, not SVG compressed, SVG. 
I'm going to save it and I'm going to make sure that I've turned on more options. Depending on your program, you want to look for this feature. You want to look for where you can choose the CSS properties. Uh, I hope you can. And I'm going to export it as style attributes. This is the good way. I'm going to click OK. And I'll save one more. And let's call it Batgirl Presentation. .svg, save. There it is again. And I'm going to change to presentation attributes and click OK. And there we go. We have way more vector files than we need for real life. But for this tutorial, we've got just enough. So let's move on to Moho. Let's go ahead and import what we just created and see what happens. So I'm going to go to File, Import, Vector File. That's a lot of flyouts. And you have the choice of SVG, Adobe Illustrator, and EPS. Let's start with EPS. So I've got two I saved. I saved a regular EPS, just current version. And perfect, right? That is a definite fail, ladies and gentlemen, a definite fail. There's my original. There's current EPS brought into Moho. So, no. Let's try the other EPS I did. Import, vector, EPS, a V8 EPS. Better. But, Look at those colors. They're not even close. Bright blue, purple, green, white, black, white, face brighter, hair brighter. I had created these over here to show the names of the uh, type. It hasn't even shown me the type names, but we don't even need to double check this. That is wrong. So the colors are a mess. Uh, on these, it has actually matched up these points pretty well to my original over here. But, uh, yeah, that color, forget it. Definite fail. EPS, let's not. So I'll just delete that. Good riddance. File, import, vector file, Adobe Illustrator. Now I saved Batgirl AI, that's the saved just in Illustrator without any settings or anything, just the newest version, double click. This file can't be imported. It is in an unsupported format. Please save the file in Illustrator 8 or earlier. All right, that's a fail. But at least it tells you what to do. File, import, vector, Illustrator, and here's the V8. That looks exactly like the Illustrator, except, and the I mean, exactly like the EPS, I should say, except, hey, look, uh, my text boxes, they don't have anything in them, but look at that. Now they're white instead of black. So, uh, better? I don't know. Uh, but everything else, Exactly the same. I'm calling this a fail. I'm calling this a, a yet another bad fail. So let's go to what I've been building you up to because yes, this is what I do. SVG, Scalable Vector Graphics. It's a web format. It's pretty simple. It's not as complex as Illustrator. It doesn't support uh, some of the features like we'll see with those brushes that I use to make the lines thick and thin in Illustrator. But let's take a look. But I'm first going to, I think, fail one more time. File, imp, file, imp, oh, for heaven's sake. File, import, vector, SVG. And I saved one as a presentation format just to, just to test it. And this can happen. And that's why I use style uh, whenever I can on my export. Yep, everything comes in black, but you know, everything else looks pretty much right. And look, I can even 
uh, read my color names, even though they're all black. So let's delete that. So presentation attributes, no. So let's just get to the one. And here's the exciting part. Drum roll, please. Vector SVG file. Batgirl SVG. And there she is. Uh, the colors are all looking very close, if not perfect. And I'm going to tell you, spoiler alert again, they're perfect. <laughs> uh, the points here, especially on the left one, and I'll explain on the right one in a minute. The points are all where they should be. And let's check these colors. So that top purple is 5E528D, or it was an illustrator. And we'll go to this, select the shape. There it is in the palette. Open that. We'll look at that, 5E528D. Select the next one down, 4A3E77. 4A3E77. Skin tone, 580-2CC. 580, F, not 5, F-A-E-2-C-C. 0DB, C0D. 0DB, C0D. And let's just do one more. I'm not going to rub it in. D9572F. D9572F. We have a winner. So, if you're going to be bringing in vectors from another program, I would recommend SVG and making sure you set to style attributes. If it doesn't come in all black, I'm sure it's fine. But if it does come all black like we had with the presentation thing, now you know why. So let's move on and look closer at these SVG imports and some of the differences caused by using non-SVG standard things on the right hand Batgirl. So you can see on the left that we've pretty much, well, we do have a point for point uh, version of what we had in Illustrator. Trust me on this. The points are in the same place. The curves are the same. It looks the same. And it's because I didn't use any special brushes or any special Illustrator features. I just stuck to the basics of vectors with uh, consistent uh, line widths and color fills and such. Uh, SVG doesn't handle some fancy things very well. It's not going to handle masking very well. Uh, but once I've got this in, for instance, I can just go in now with the uh, line width tool and I can just go in and start adding some personality elements, like giving her nose a little bit of a, of a drop off on the edges. And I can make her upper eye uh, brow. There we go. Or not brow. Eyelash. Her upper eyelash thicker and maybe a little thinner on the bottom. Just use that tool. And I can, I can go to the, these hairline bits. I think I've still got something selected. There we go. And also do the same with them. So you get the point there. Now, with the Illustrator that I imported that already had uh, those uh, thick and thin lines applied, we'll come over here, and you can see, look at all those extra points. It's converted them to shapes, and it hasn't done a terribly good job of it. And this may or may not be a problem for you, depending on how complex your animation is but for instance for me if I wanted to make these eyes blink by moving those vector points there's an awful lot of them and I'd have to do a lot of cleanup in fact I would probably just recreate those eyes in Moho rather than deal with that so uh, that is what happens with SVG if your illustrator has extra stuff and you can always go back into illustrator and turn off special brushes and things like that. Just make sure it's all a single line weight all the way around, uh, that kind of thing. So there are still limitations. And as I said, I really recommend that you do your creation in Moho because it's the best way to do vector art that you're going to be working with in Moho. But I hope this has helped. 
if for any reason you feel the need to bring uh, SVG in from another program. And as I've shown, you do want to use SVG to import vector. Thanks a lot. Subscribe if you like them. Uh, make comments below, ask questions. I try and get to them really fast. And I'll see you next time with more tips, tricks, and tutorials.